Hey everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops, and today we're hooked up to a K750 dozer for the Texas Off Highway unit. I've already got us connected here, but the first tab on the screen right now is your parameters tab. This is going to be your live data on this machine, and I'll scroll through rather quickly. Of course, we can get down here to the bottom, and this will kind of give you some of your statuses here too. Another neat feature is this dashboard icon. What this is going to do is give you those same parameters, but it just kind of puts it in a picture format. It's kind of a flow chart for you guys, a little easier to read. And we'll hit back here and go into the next tab, which will be our fault. We've got one inactive fault, but we can double click it. This will give us our fault code information. And then another neat feature is the star one, two, three. What this is is the freeze frame data from that code. So this will give you, you know, some of the parameters here from when that code is set. The other tab is ECU info, and this is going to give you your current injector code information, such as engine serial numbers, types, and some programming dates down at the bottom. Under your activations, these will be your tests that you can run on this engine. And today we're going to go ahead and just run this injector cutoff test. We'll click confirm. The software kind of walks us through here, and we'll pick our cylinder and click confirm. Not sure how well you guys can hear it on the video, but you can hear that cylinder cut out there and come back, and we'll do one more cylinder here for you too as well, cylinder four, so you guys can listen. And once it comes back online, we will click the cancel button, confirm again, it will ask us to cut the key off. Of course, we're not going to put the key off, we're just going to confirm on through this, and we'll go into the settings tab next. And this is where you get into some of your replacement commands. And then down here at the bottom, your functions for your region. Which we'll go ahead and force a region here so you guys can see how that looks too. We'll click it and click the start button below. And it'll give us a couple conditions need to be met before, such as coolant temp. We're a little bit above it, so we're good there. And we'll click confirm here, and this will start the engine heating process. This will take just a few seconds to do, and then we should go into that region function directly after. You guys could hear there that RPM raised up on this engine. The process has started, and we can look up here on the gauge cluster and see we are at 2,000 RPM, and the regeneration has started. All right, well, we're not going to sit here for the whole region, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the functionality with FPP. Thanks for watching.